What's up guys, today we are going to be trying to convince AI to let us in their homes. So welcome to Suck Up. I am your friendly neighborhood vampire and it's my goal to get inside your house. I can use whatever disguises to my advantage here and uh, I've got to talk my way into this. We're going to be talking to the computer, talking to machines, talking to AI and we've got to convince Come them on. to let us inside. We got Grandma Maud on the first one. Oh, why, hello there. Are you a lost performer? I always appreciate a good street show, dear. What brings you to my doorstep this late at night? Grandma, what do you mean? You don't recognize me? It's, it's your grandson. I came here to visit you this weekend. Can't believe she forgot me, man. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, dear. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Come on in. Let Grandma Maud give you a big hug. Oh, I've missed you so much, Grandma. I love you so much. I miss your cooking, your peach pies, your everything. I can't wait to come in and visit. <laughs> oh, we got her there. Bless your heart, dear. I've missed you too. My peach pies are just as tasty as ever. How about I make one right now? But before you come in, tell me, what's your favorite memory of us together? This is actually a true story. I'm going to see if this works. Well, when Mom wouldn't let me have a game console and you guys had the Super Nintendo and would let me come over and play it for hours on end, I just absolutely loved that. They would sit there and watch me. They didn't really know anything about Super Nintendo, but they always had one for me. Oh, those were such precious times, weren't they? Playing Super Nintendo with you was a joy, my dear. Love to create more memories like that. How about we plan a game night soon? But for now, come on in. Let's reminisce while I make a peach pie for you. Well, Grandma, I'm sorry. But I gotta bite your neck. Come here. <laughs> Just <laughs> clothes explode off. Should have baked more garlic bread. Night shift begins. Watch out, Frank, and the neighborhood watch have started patrol. Oh, shoot. Okay, so as we attack residents, the cops are gonna be out. All right, so we have the same costume here. We could change into Grandma's costume. Does she have anything else in here? There's nothing really on the inside. I kind of like this first one. Gotta watch out for the cops, though. We could see if there's anything around. Oh, we got a sombrero. Got a sky blue t-shirt and white skirt. I don't know if that's gonna work. Gotta keep an eye out for the neighborhood watch here. We're good. Should we just go? I don't know how the, the houses work. I'm assuming the ones closest to our house are the easiest. Let's just see what happens next. Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. Ghostbuster? Uh -huh. Lil Swipe! Yo, what's cracking, my mystery guest? You caught me off guard, but I'm curious as a cat. What's popping? Hey, fam, we got the littest party down the street. No cap, it's gonna be bussin', bro. There's hella big come through. I don't know why I'm saying that he sh oh, sh oh, sorry, fam, not really feeling it right now. I gotta focus on my grind, you dig? Maybe next time. Stay lit, though. Shoot, I was gonna say, we probably shouldn't invite him to another house when we're trying to get invited in. Hey, uh... Just kidding, bro. I'm trying to... What is he, like a music maker? Nah, fam. Gotta stay hustling and grinding. Can't hit up no parties right now. Oh, shoot. He recognizes... Dude, this is crazy. So we're... Oh. Nothing to see here, sir. Nothing to see here. I'm pretty sure I read in the, the like, tutorial that the when people slam the door, the cops come looking. I don't think... Hmm. Oh, we could go with the construction outfit. We had the construction outfit off the rip. We could say he's, uh, it looks like we've got some road work here. We, we like hit a pipe or something, or, or there's some sort of a leak, a gas leak. <laughs> Yo, what's up? You got some sick construction vibes going on, man. What's cracking? We're doing the road work out front. We have a bit of an issue. No worries, bro. I'm all ears. What's the sitch? Road work can be real pain. I feel ya. Well, as it turns out, there's a giant gas line under your property. We're gonna have to inspect the pipes and make sure nothing's wrong. We want you to be safe. That's a reason to come in and go, whoa, hold up. A giant gas line under my property. That's crazy. Safety first, though. I'm down for the inspection. Let's keep things lit and make sure everything's good to go. Yeah, it, it'll be just a quick inspection. It'll take less than two minutes. More like 10 seconds to end your life. <laughs> Bet, man, I trust you. Let's get this inspection done quick and clean. Come on in, my dude. Let's go. Dude, this is crazy. This is really, really well done. Like, I, I can't believe how quick the responses are going. I'm editing a little bit, but... Gonna drop a sick beat in the grave, he said. All right, so we, we could be a, a party, bro. Tight brown bun. Speaker backpack. All right, we're, we're a party, bro. We got to use this on the right house, though. Shoot. If we're not doing anything sketch, are we okay? Oh, we could even have a motorcycle and a bike helmet. If we're not doing anything sketch, I'm, I'm sure we are fine. I wonder if they're going to recognize their neighbor. Yo, Lil Swipe, what's cracking in the rap game tonight? This is Brian Bitcoin. Oh, okay. This is easy. Brian, it's good to see you, my guy. Listen, I got an altcoin that's going to be bussin' bussin' to the moon, bro. He's, I mean, he's a Bitcoin, bro. Come on. He, he's he's going to have to let us in. Hey, my dude, altcoins, huh? Which one are you talking about? I'm always down here about those moonbound investments. I'm going to look up the world's worst 
named cryptocurrencies. Okay, most of these are just like things that I can't really say in a YouTube video. I can't believe some of the names on here. Bro, Dink Doink is about to go brazy with the Bitcoin having coming up. I'm talking 10x investments. Let's talk about it. Just let me in. Let's let's talk about it. You know what I mean? Look look at how quick this this responds. Though I'm not gonna edit this one. Ooh, Dink Doink, huh? That sounds like a wild ride. Tell me more about why you think it's gonna blow up with my Bitcoin having. Mall ears, my crypto bro. Yo, you can't say anything, but some shady YouTubers are about to start a pump and dump scheme. So we gotta get in on the ground floor. Maybe he's a man of. Cl oh, he doesn't like that pump and dump, huh? That sounds sketchy, my friend. I don't mess with those schemes. I'm all about the long term games and staying legit in the crypto game. I feel you. All right, we are gonna try to make quick money, but I do have a a really good long-term blue chip stop that's gonna overtake Bitcoin at some point. I said stop, not stock, it's all right. Overtake Bitcoin? Now that's a bold claim, my friend. I'm curious to hear more about this blue chip. What's the project? I'm talking lower gas fees, quicker halvings, it's going to be lit, bro. We, I, I got all the details. We could talk about it inside. I don't really know that much about cryptocurrency. Yeah. Lower gas fees and quicker halvings. That does sound pretty lit, my dude. You've piqued my interest. Come in, let's deep dive into this blue chip project and see if it's got what it takes to take over the crypto world. Got by that one in the seat of my pants, man. Holy cow, we got him. And now we've got a suit. We can look legit. We can really work with this. If we're suited and booted, I'm gonna try to go to somebody who's not his direct neighbor so they won't recognize him. That's kind of crazy. Ooh, we got like a really nice house here with the Ferrari out front. Okay. We got a golf bag. We've got a package. Should I pick up the package? Box to meals. We could be a golfer. Is there any information on like who they are or what we could potentially talk to them about? They got money, money, and they got a giant fence around it. I feel like the suit's a good look. I just don't know what our entry is going to be. Let's see who it is first and we can try to come up with a plan. Ooh. What in tarnation are you doing knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? Speak up, boy. I haven't got all night for your crypto mumbo jumbo. Shoot, he recognizes us. Everyone talks in this neighborhood. What's up, Mr. Boomer? I'm not here to talk about any crypto, but I have heard some rumors about you, and if you want to keep this nice house and car, you better listen to me. Oh. Rumors, you say I ain't got time for baseless gossip. I've worked hard for what I've got, and I ain't about to let some whippersnapper threaten me. You could take your tails and hit the road. I'm not threatening you at all. I just I have some friends in some dark places that have said that you're being looked into for insider trading and I can help you out. Insider trading? You must be out of your mind. I work my way up the ground. I don't need or want any help from shady characters like you. Now kindly leave before I call the authorities. All right, that didn't work. I actually kind of feel like the construction outfit is about the, the best that we can do. Like anybody could, could use a little bit of help from a construction worker. If somebody rolls up with the orange vest. Uh, there's so many YouTube videos of people getting into like game seven of the finals just carrying a... Oh, he went to check out the slammed door. But yeah, people like getting into game seven of the finals or into the Super Bowl and stuff just by carrying a ladder and wearing an orange vest. So this could work. A technician backpack. That looks pretty good. We could be an internet tech, but there'd be no reason for us to be out this late. So it's got to be some sort of an emergency. Hello, Mr. Boomer. That's what we have from your public records. Uh, there's a downed power line on top of your house. I'm going to have to get up there and fix it. Down power line, you say? Well, if it means I can watch some high flying acrobatics, be my guest. But mind you, if you mess up my roof, you'll be swinging from that power line yourself. Uh, sir, unfortunately, due to the high voltage, we're not going to be able to access it from the outside of the house. We're going to have to go through the upstairs window. Doesn't really make sense, but... <laughs> through the window? Well, as long as you promise to fix it quickly and not break anything in the process, I'll be watching like a hawk, so don't even think about stealing my precious belongings. Oh, no problem at all, sir. We will be in and out quicker than you can say, uh, cat in a hat. What? <laughs> Well, if you can work some magic and fix the power line without causing any more trouble, I suppose I could let you in. Just make sure you don't, or you clean up after yourselves and don't track dirt all over my floors. All right. Construction worker is OP. I gotta be honest with your old ass, old cranky ass. It feels good to, to take you down. Should have stayed in the 60s. Yeah, you, you probably could have. Okay. I'm, uh, I feel like I'm gonna put his outfit on. I feel like the construction worker is just OP. Got his golf bag too. I don't know. What we're really going to be able to do with this. Dude, this is crazy. So there are 31 houses in this neighborhood. There's an apple. You can wear the apple. Old school hockey. Bro, what? <laughs> okay, that's a, a little scary. I feel like we don't want that. We haven't knocked on the yellow house here yet. Now we're in their exact neighbor's outfit. So I wonder if they have something in the back. I kind of want to take this. Let's go take the sombrero. Oh, we've got a red insulated backpack too. Perfect. The helmet. 
I'm going to be like a, a food delivery driver. Where did we first take our, our first outfit off? I thought I... Uh, I just feel like the, the business attire is not primed for a, a food delivery. I want our hoodie. Orange sweater and khakis, that's a little bit better. Just trying to escape the cops here. They're all over the place. We've got a newsboy hat. We could get like a newspaper and deliver it but i'm i'm gonna say that they ordered some some mexican whoever this is we got a mexican delivery some oh a golfer yo what's the secret knock spill it pal hey mr soprano thank you so much for your order we got the best barrier tacos in town i'm here to give you your tacos barrier tacos huh you better hope they're as good as you say slide them over let's see what you got but remember i ain't afraid to send them back if they don't meet expectations Oh, that's the thing. This is from Poppy's Taco Truck. We have like a whole show and everything that we do. We've got to actually set them up for you. They taste way better, trust. Poppy's Taco Truck. I was supposed to be P-A-P-I. All right, you picked my interest. Come in, set them up. But don't think I won't be watching you like a hawk. Let's go. Easy peasy. That was the easiest one yet. I love how some of them are like a lot more trusting. Other ones are not as much. Poppy's Tacos reign supreme. Ooh. It was a little bit too close. We got neighborhood watch all over the place. We could just go to a new part of town here. What do we have? Oh, she was already coming to the door. What now? If you've got a package, just leave it at the door from Jessica Overworked. Hey, Jessica, I'm from the Pink Taco Palace. Uh, you were new to the neighborhood and you won a free birria taco order. She's overworked, underpaid, free. She's got to like free, free food, huh? Well, I guess that's one way to get my attention. Fine, bring it in, but make it quick. I've got a busy day ahead. Absolutely. We've got a whole setup here. We've got margarita pitchers to go and all kinds of stuff. So I'll set it in the, the kitchen for you and I'll be on my way. Margarita pitchers, huh? Maybe this day won't be so bad after all. Thanks for bringing it in. Just make sure you don't spill anything on the floor. Don't you worry, ma'am. I'm always very careful. I'll just drop the food off and go. Oh. Well, since you seem to know what you're doing, come on in. Use a break for Mark. Just make it quick. Let me in then. My God. She kept saying, come on in, and then she wouldn't let me in. Let's go. We got her. That's another one. Oh. What? The fudge? It kind of it kind of glitched a little bit. All right, I reloaded. The good news is your game does save. The bad news is I think we might have to find a new disguise, and we might have to convince her again but uh, dude this is honestly really really crazy i feel like that's a good spot to stop this video if you guys want some more from this let me know i cannot believe how well this is done and the fact that this is just kind of the beginning of where ai is going so again if you guys want more we could play more of this we've got you know 26 more houses to go through so let me know what you guys think in the comments hope you guys enjoyed and uh if anybody knocks on your door this evening don't answer it i'll see you guys later